Shout out to Delta Force for not only sponsoring this video, but unlocking some of my long forgotten and favorite gaming memories from when I was a kid. I grew up playing these games, and Delta Force was not a brand that I was expecting to see at Gamescom 2023. So I got this card in the mail today, and I kind of cheated, I knew that it was coming, but uh, it's the name that had my attention from the start. If you guys are old like I am, you also grew up playing the Delta Force, the Black Hawk Down, the Joint Operations games, and it looks like they're back. So let's crack this thing open, take a look. Now let's see what we have here. Imitation, August 23rd, Cologne, Germany, Ranger Dave. Vague, but intriguing. If you're watching this and you're wondering, okay, wait, what is Delta Force and why have I never heard of this game? Well, don't be too surprised that you're missing out because these are some pretty old games. These games were kind of the peak of the pre-Battlefield and pre-Call of Duty first-person shooter era. They had very groundbreaking voxel-based graphics at the time that enabled some super large maps while still having some details for you to fight around. They also definitely had a more realistic lean to these games. Looking back at them, they would almost fit into the more modern tactical FPS genre with that slightly more realistic style to them. And there were actually a lot of these games. It started out with Delta Force 1 and 2, then after the very famous Black Hawk Down movie came out, the original devs launched probably the most famous of the original Delta Force games, Delta Force Black Hawk Down, and this is the one that I remember spending most of my time in. Besides a very tactical and large-scale multiplayer that somehow also worked well over dial-up internet, Delta Force Black Hawk Down also featured an extensive campaign focused around the actual Delta Force operations in Mogadishu in the early 1990s. Later titles in this series would even take on Battlefield's vehicle-based gameplay. A spin-off series from Delta Force Joint Operations I played on through my college days. It featured even bigger maps and tons of vehicle combat. I still remember very clearly that Joint Ops was the first game that I ever stayed up all night long playing until the sun came up outside. That's how intense and competitive and just immersive the multiplayer was in these games. So that brings us to 2023 and the relaunch of the Delta Force franchise, which is a sentence I was not expecting to say anytime soon. What is this new game going to offer? Well, first of all, it's going to be free to play. And I should let you guys know that you can actually check that link at the top of the description down below this video, and you can pre-register to be first in line once the game goes live. Right now, that's going to be the only way to play the game, so make sure you check it out. As far as what the game's gonna offer gameplay-wise, I know what longtime fans like myself are probably gonna be most excited about. So let's talk about it first. It's the remaster, the full licensed official remaster of the original Black Hawk Down campaign. The devs are already teasing a return of classic scenarios from those missions and even some of the iconic characters that you can remember from those original games and of course the movie. Not only did I put tons of hours into the game Black Hawk Down as a kid, but I must have watched that movie a hundred times too, so I can't wait to see this remake in action. They've given us just a couple of teases here in the game footage to show what it's going to offer. In the other two game modes offered in this relaunch of Delta Force, we're going to fast forward the timeline from that original setting in the 1990s, but we are going to stick to that same North African region. The lore is going to be connected from those original Mogadishu missions all the way to the other two game modes and their story. In the Hazard Operations mode, Delta Force is going to embrace the extraction genre, which is rapidly growing in popularity over the last few years, and add a PvPVE option based around a central story as you and your team investigate a missing CEO. And as you might expect, your team is being led by a former Delta Force commander. Your three-man team is going to have to work together to pick complementary classes and gear, move across the map, complete missions, and figure out the best route to get to extraction with whatever loot you've managed to acquire. Along the way, you're going to be fighting enemy squads as well as AI threats across the map. There's even going to be special extraction points that offer unique bonuses if you make it out alive. 
this is a mode that I am very excited to try just because the extraction genre has been my go-to over the last couple of years. It really gets the adrenaline flowing as much as I usually do enjoy the traditional multiplayer modes. But why choose? Delta Force is actually going to offer a third mode with more traditional large-scale multiplayer as well. If you do get the itch for some of that larger scale combat, you're going to want to check out the Havoc Warfare mode. This is the large scale battle mode. You can pick from one of four iconic classes, Assault, Sniper, Engineer, and Medic, and work with your team to complete objectives. Not only do you have those four classes and operators to go with them, you also have full scale vehicle warfare. You can pilot assault ships, battle tanks, heavy ATVs, heavy helicopters, armored transports, and of course, your classic Blackhawks. In the clips we've seen so far, I've seen more traditional Blackhawk transport helicopters, as well as those heavy Blackhawk attack helicopters. These are going to be large scale maps featuring attack and defense options. And as you can tell from the list of vehicles, it's going to be a battle on land, sea, and air. This mode makes me grin just a bit because it really takes me back to the original games, just like before Delta Force 2023 is coming for its competitor's crown in the multiplayer arena. Let's also not miss out on the fact that in the midst of all this chaos and destruction in this large scale havoc mode, we are seeing some actual destruction physics going on as an entire building collapses during an attack here. And outside of the destruction, as far as additional tech behind the game goes, the devs have talked a bit not just about some high-end PC features like RTX, ray tracing, which will be in this game, but also some of their methodology as they work on creating some very authentic looking environments. For example, they are heavily relying on a photogametry, a real-life photography method that allows you to very accurately scan and recreate real-life textures in a video game environment. Then on top of the RTX technology, you've also got DLSS 3 and NVIDIA Reflex confirmed as additional more cutting edge features. Let me tell you guys, I am liking what I'm seeing so far and I am very intrigued to see how this game does shape up against the competition and I can't wait to hear when we might be able to get our hands on it. For now though, if you want to be first in line like I mentioned earlier, check out the link at the top of the description and you'll get access to the game as soon as it's available. Also, once again, a big thank you to Delta Force for sponsoring this video and supporting the channel, and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.